Hello everyone. <laughs> so for some reason, I don't know what it is, I think it's like the sound vibrations, but the dogs love it when Ali sings to them. And I know that lots of you sit like it when Ali sings as well. You think he's got a very, very lovely voice. <laughs> but good morning, everyone. I am up and getting ready for the day. Ah, I think my taxi has just arrived. There was a taxi here earlier, but it left. Um, I washed my hair following a night of oiling. And I've also, I'm back using the K, uh, K18 hair kind of conditioner thing that you leave in because um, I think my hair just needs a little bit of protein as well as the oils and it seems to be working. It does seem to be working. I'm also wearing this beautiful Arvel dress for the day. Um, I have meetings in London today. Carrie is also going to Tracy Giles to have her eyebrows uh, hyperrealismed. I think that that's how it is. Um, I was going to book in to get it done as well, but I've decided I'm just leaving my brows alone. I think I've got good brows. I don't need to faff with them. It's not my taxi driver. It's a delivery driver. And Ali is catching up with the delivery driver because obviously he's not been here. So the delivery driver is telling him that he's got his mum coming over. <laughs> as I was saying, I am wearing this beautiful, beautiful, I call it periwinkle, but I don't actually know what colour um, it's called on the Arvel website. And I popped a little bow with it as well, but I just love this neckline. Perfect neckline, covered buttons, everything that you could want, basically, in a dress. And it fits incredibly. It's also midi length, so good for a day in London. I'm wearing it with my Ralph Lauren pointed flats, which I always feel really lovely in and probably a mini Kelly as well. It is supposed to get sunny today, so I'm not going to take any kind of coat or anything. And I actually haven't double checked who my meetings are with today. So I have a very long meeting in London today. It is either from two until four or four until six. I have absolutely no idea, but it's a long meeting with the Karen Millen team um, for future collections, obviously, because um, we're working a while in advance and um, I've got to get cracking on them, basically. I'll show you what I can. Obviously, I've, I've shown you quite a lot from behind the scenes and um, I think now you understand how much involvement I have. It does take up an incredible amount of my time. Ah, oh, good morning, my handsome topless husband. What was delivered? I don't know, I didn't open it, it's for you. Is it for me? It's a bag, like a, it's something small in a bag. Small in a bag? You know what I mean, like a it's shopping bag. It's a little jiffy bag. No, like a shopping bag. Ooh. That you'd get if you left the store. Ooh. Like a hard one. Ooh. And this big. And yamo. Ooh, I feel like I am matching this bag that's arrived very, very well. This is, um, a little something from Dolce & Gabbana Beauty, so I thought, let's get into it before my taxi arrives. Although, I am going to be late at this rate, and that rhymes. These are, oh, ah, this is the fragrance that um, Jane was wearing when I had a meeting with them the other day. It's Serge Lutens, and it's Fleur du Orange, and it smells lovely. And then they have also sent some Dolce Gabbana Velvet Skin Natural Matte Foundation, hopefully in my shade. This is Cameo and Cinnamon. This reminds me of the Dior Prestige Foundation, so I'm gonna give this a go, try it on my skin, probably another day, because I have to get going. As mentioned though, my taxi is running late now, so um, I'm waiting for a new one to arrive, which hopefully should be here in a minute, which is actually giving me a good um, opportunity to check the fridge and to check the cupboards because I need to do a food shop on the way down to London. And one of the things that you will know is my food shop is, it's one of those things that I've realized is a moment in your week that you can make into a really like wonderful, luxurious experience because Maybe it's just me, although I feel like we're always kind of kindred spirits in this, but those little moments of indulgence 
can really kind of like brighten up your week. And I actually look forward to my food shop. I love it. I get so excited. And I didn't realize how much I did until, um, until we changed from where we used to shop to somewhere new. And then I got thinking about how many opportunities there are for me to try other places to shop as well. And so this week's food shop I've done from Ocado and I've never shopped there before, but I have heard the most incredible things about shopping there. So I wanted to give it a go. And also the fact that they now deliver in our area is extremely exciting. And I've always felt like they are like one of those places to shop that like, you know, is a, it's going to be an experience. So I've got a few little things I need to pop onto my food shopping list, but the main thing for me is that I want a little moment this week where my food shop is going to arrive tomorrow. I'm going to unpack it. I'm going to try some new things, planning for like a little bit of maybe a barbecue over the weekend as well. So I'm going to add some really, really beautiful like meats and picky bits. Picky bits is a big thing in England. It's, um, it's kind of the equivalent of like charcuteries or crudités. That, that's like the English picky bits. So I'm going to add um, some of those to my cart as well, just stock up on some yumminess. And if, if I can't have like, I don't know, I just think that even like own brand things, if you're shopping somewhere nice, the own brand things are just blooming wonderful. So I'm going to get into my cupboards, check what I need and place an order and I am very, very excited about this. We're quite bare at the moment. I need some, I need to get some new yogurt because I never ever get the yogurt that I want when I order it usually. Um, we need some bread. I always like to make sure that I have a beautiful, like fresh, either sourdough or bloomer. That just, I feel like when you come to then have a bit of like bread with your, I don't know, pasta or your sugo to like scoop it up, um, it's got to be good bread. Can't be having anything that's like cardboard. So some bread. I need some more onions for cooking. I need some hummus, some uh, jams and compots. Need some more ketchup. Uh, do you mind? Need some little things for some naughty puppy dogs. We are on the train and Miss Grayson is tapping away on her laptop. So this is the perfect opportunity when I'm bored, I add to cart. <laughs> so this is what I already have in my cart and we have M&S Luxury Madagascan Vanilla Yogurt. I'm exceptionally excited to try that. We've also got lots of hummus. Um, already got the sourdough, wasteless sourdough as well, which is an essential in our kitchen. Uh, eggs, because Ali has eggs every morning juice oh a wooden spoon i need a new wooden spoon is that free oh, i get a free wooden spoon oh my god that's very very cool you really excited about this is the neil's yard organic garden mint and bergamot hand wash that sounds incredible so i can't wait to smell that with you but i've got a few more bits to add to the shopping list so i am going to set about filling my cart okay edit order I love the way you just tap to add another one. You know, usually you have to like put however many that you want to add. This is just like tap, tap, tap if you want three. That's, I love that. Tap, 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 tap. Give it a little tappy. <laughs> have you seen that? tap dancing while we're at <laughs> no, Have you seen that? Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Oh my god, when I have been playing, so playing golf. Like, just tap it, <laughs> tap it. <laughs> Dochi balls, but they've got birthday cake dochi balls. Add to cart. Okay, this is game changing, being able to like add all of my favorite beauty products to my shopping list as well. I love this. We're now approaching London Euston, which is our final stop. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sorted. I love that I can add my Saint-Tropez. 
add to cart. Ricardo also, just FYI, has a very good wine selection. Ooh. I need a new natural deodorant because I've used up that other one that I had, which was so good. Which one was The one that smelled like Santal. No, no, the one that smelled like Santal 33. I'm still doing my food shop, by the way. I've just added a pasta evangelist like meal for two to my order, which is a so handy because Ali and I obviously we like to cook when we can but life obviously sometimes gets in the way you're sort of like scrambling around at the last moment to make dinner and make a good dinner at that so it's nice to have something that you can just prep it's mostly done for you but it tastes delicious so the pasta evangelist I've added add to cart um, but you can also add it's out of stock but I wonder if they've got different ones you can also add like a, an afternoon tea finger sandwich selection to your order as well. So if you want to have like a girl's afternoon tea on like a Saturday or something, maybe you don't have time to prep or whatever, you can order one and set it up and have it as like a little kind of afternoon tea with like your girls or if you've got like kids, it's a fun way of doing things. I just think that's brilliant. There's so many different options. And now I'm gonna get onto the wine list because Carrie's already told me that there's a good wine selection on Ocado, so. <laughs> Add to cart. <laughs> well, it's a long time since I've been on this road. Who remembers when I came and tried on wedding dresses on this road at Suzanne Neville, just down there? But we're heading into Tracy Giles' permanent makeup for this one to get her brows done. We have just finished up at um, Tracy Giles. I obviously didn't have anything done, but that was where Carrie booked in to have her brows. We're also going down Sloan. Sloan Street mm -hmm. and it is literally like being a kid in a candy store. I can't go in any of these shops because I have to look we're just going past Chanel. How sad. Oh. <laughs> um, because we're going on to our next meeting basically it was brought forward from four o'clock um, to two o'clock which means um, oh are we gonna get lunch though? I will stop at Pratt and grab some food. Okay, yeah, okay. Not so. um, but let's show you show them your brows Carrie. So this is no product on her brows. Look how good they look. I'm so happy. Literally, I am so impressed with the work that she's done. The late, what's her name? Um, Mirin. Mirin, oh my God. She is literally incredible. They look so, so natural. This is Carrie's first appointment, but she's got a second appointment. Yeah. I'm just gonna so come in very close. I had hyper-realism brows because yeah. when I was looking into the different types, I found some of the microblading looked a bit too glam and heavy for me. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted my brows to look done for someone that doesn't really wear makeup. They look a lot of the time. incredible. I'm so happy. And she was right about the colour too. Yeah, 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 absolutely. She, originally, she showed me a colour and I was like, oh, and she said, oh, it's blonde. I was like, well, I have them dyed a dark brown so you can actually see them on my face. Yeah. But yeah. No, you wouldn't have wanted to go any so darker happy. than that. They look so good. Like, even I was like, Sally, I was like, oh, maybe I should like get them my eyebrows are such different shapes that I always want to get these bits like at least like ma I know that eyebrows are sisters and not twins but I kind of wanted to get like a, those matched up a little bit but I just think I should just leave them alone but anyway we're gonna see how Carrie's goes but I didn't show you anything from inside there because you know you never know how these things are gonna go but they look fantastic um, so now we are heading back to Soho leaving the wonderful Sloan Street behind and um, heading to my meeting with Karen Miller it's gonna be a two-hour meeting which means it's gonna be a five-hour meeting it's never gonna get old <laughs> just doing a spot of window shopping at Alberta Ferretti because I can't do anything else. <laughs> okay, we are mid-meeting. Got about half an hour left and we are moving on to the third collection of the day that we're looking at. So we've got rails and rails, lots of ruffles, feathers. You're looking at some lovely winter pieces here. We've got some new takes on shirting, some leathers, some shearling, some prints and some tool. Lots of exciting things to come in future collections. We're looking at prints and more future collections. Very, very exciting. And that's all you're getting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so wow. I love the structure of the shoulders yeah, as well. 
the little peak. Yeah. Something with the yeah. The bust area is looking a bit strange. Yeah. It's too tight. The, yeah. the, the pockets. pockets. Yeah. yeah. Like high. Yeah, but high or so long and thin. Yeah, I think they need to be a bit wider. Would it be impossible or too late in the day to offer this in another colourway? No. Because I would say yeah, that you know, this this is going to be as good as the notch neck. Yeah. And one of the things that, that I was fed back just from my audience was like, please offer like oh, this in like a khaki like or something yeah, like that, or a blush. Yeah. Would that's our colour. Color. Yeah. So I'd go. I'd go probably that. So frost grip, frosty green. The, uh, but I, you could go with the, the ice, the ice melt. The ice melt sells very well for us. Yeah, and blues do. I think a frosty green and the ice melt. How would that sit alongside that one? The green and the dusty rose sits better with this collection than yeah, the Provence, uh, than the ice it, well, melt. Well, you have got another other prints here that have got blue in. Which yes, it might sit along that side. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I quite like them as they are. <laughs> Sorry. Put <laughs> <laughs> a fascinator on if you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ascot ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, that when you innocently g Google something, sometimes you're not prepared for oh, what's God. served what up. What did we do that There was something that was served up that, that we Googled, and I was like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, wow. Like, oh, I... I it was oh. It was like... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think you're right. The slightly more yes. utilitarian. utilitarian. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think you're absolutely right. And I can totally see why they're called pig noses. <laughs> they look like a pig nose. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Yeah, it's a little shoot. Good morning, everyone. I am looking a little bit sleepy and bleary eyed, but. My food shopping Ocado delivery has arrived, so we're gonna get everything unpacked. I'm gonna show you what I ordered and talk you through everything because I am incredibly excited about this. Nothing better than starting your day with a little, a little bit of luxury in the form of your food shop. So. <laughs> so, you know the um, Dalesford horseradish that you love? I can put that on our food shop. And you know that Dalesford don't deliver to our area, but I would never do like a full food shop from Dalesford, but there are certain things that they do really well. So we're able to like add their things to our baskets. Yeah, they have their own brand of cardo stuff as well. Good morning, Barkley Boo. Good morning, Paulie. Morning, yeah. All in one day, come on. Yeah, yeah. Champion. <laughs> So um, the delivery guys told us as well that um, when we order with them again, they actually buy back the plastic bags. So if you hold on to them, the next time they're delivered, you give them back their bags because that is one of the things I honestly can't stand is like the accumulation of plastic bags. And so in this way, and especially ordering online as well, is a great way to not do that. Because whenever I go to a food, like a um, shopping, a supermarket, um, I always find that I like, if I'm going impulsively, I haven't got my bags for life with me, so I end up with more bags for life, and then you just get like a drawer of bags for life. This way, you give the bags back, and it's kind of like a constant rotation of bags rather than you accumulating them all the time. In Germany, yeah. the, the German lads were saying that for a can of Coke, yeah. if you give the can back, you get 25 cent back. Wow. So people go around with trolleys collecting cans, and then they return them in store. Because it's a way of obviously oh, that's, that's incentivizing in, people. It's incentivizing people to pick up their litter as well. Because one of the things yeah. I've noticed, have you seen how much litter there is at the end of our road? No, I don't know. It just makes me so sad. Okay, so let's get in to. So I, first things first, stocked up on Madagascan vanilla yogurt, which is something that is always substituted on my other food shop and not one thing was substituted on this, which has made me very happy. This is West Country Luxury Yogurt, Madagascar. We've got, we've got one now. Yeah, just one now, I've got loads in here, I've got five. Then, another good thing from Dalesford is their soups. So I got myself the organic roast tomato with soup and mascarpone 
and that's going to be with our lovely sourdough bloomer. Got lots of cheeses because I obviously made loads of risotto and things like that. So parmesan and um, cheddar. Then because the weather is obviously exceptionally lovely, you can see the sun is shining to the left of me. We picked up some four British Angus beef burgers just something that we can pop on the barbecue fairly easily um, and obviously again enjoy with some good bread and some good condiments and things like that and just easy when you want to have like something delicious in the evening and like have like a barbecue just the two of you it's so easy to just whack on the barbecue and shove something like this on and enjoy the benefits of a barbecue but obviously we might have people over, over the weekend that kind of thing but couldn't leave these it's one of the things that I told you about yesterday so I ordered the Pasta Evangelist Ali. Yeah. Are you in the gym? Yeah. You don't want to see what I got? Uh, oh, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I got. Uh, yeah. No, because I would have put it all away. This was the Pasta Evangelist um, Rinette with beef shin ragu. Obviously, this isn't gluten-free. I don't think that Pasta Evangelists do gluten-free, but I've always wanted to try their like at-home kits because Ali and I, at Christmas time, we go to Harrods and have Pasta Evangelists in Harrods. So to be able to order this to my house made me very, very excited. Just the usual bits and pieces that we would have in our food shop. So gluten-free Fusely and like, uh, what's it called? Microwave rice. Rice is obviously something that's very, very easy to cook, but like I said, Ali and I are often like chasing our tails at the end of the day. We want to have something good to eat. Um, so microwave rice and then making like some kind of sauce or mince or stir fry is super easy so that we still get something that is delicious and good for you. Um, Ali loves the Dalesford horseradish sauce, so I got some of that for him. Um, we were in need of some more chocolate spread, hazelnut spread, so I got the Dalesford um, chocolate hazelnut butter. If you don't know, Dalesford only deliver 10 miles rate in a 10 mile radius around their farm shop. And if you're someone like me who lives outside of that, it's a really great way for you to pick up the bits that you enjoy from there as well online. They've also just launched a new selection of deliciously Ella bits and pieces online as well. So I picked up her um, nutty granola because I don't like granola that um, has like fruit in it but I like it with nuts so I got the delicious Ella nutty granola so they've got loads of different things on there I also have her energy balls and things like that and this is our wasteless sourdough bloomer from Gales which comes in a nice little brown paper bag I was also able to pick up toiletries and things that you know that you're like oh that's on my list of things that I need to get so our current Our current oven glove is done like it's literally done and please tell me that I'm not the only person that like goes through oven gloves so quickly so I was able to add a new oven glove to my cart and just pick it up with everything else but they've also got beauty on there and not just like any beauty like really really good beauty stuff oh poo bags I also got the dog's poo bags because um, we've run out and these are mint scented poo bags which <laughs> um also i was able to get them the boys their own little carrot toy which i think they'll destroy in five seconds flat but wait <gasps> uh, 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 no we don't take without no off. You're being very good boys sitting down. You needed some new toys. Ready? Ready? Ah, no. You wait. There we go. Good boys. Good boys. <laughs> so when I have some exceptionally good boys on my hands, they get a little carrot toy. I also needed a new natural deodorant. This is from the Green People Organic Lifestyle Rosemary and Prebiotic Deodorant. 
rollable. Oh, I love the smell of that. But obviously just because it was like a garden herb, I was like, oh, that smells really lovely. I was able to pick up some more saint which so important to be able to like add everything to one list that you need from beauty to homeware to doggies to, to food, which made my life so much easier. I also picked up the Evolve Organic Beauty Nourishing Hair Elixir for normal dry hair, a weightless frizz control. I love this brand, by the way. Evolve Beauty is just very, very nice. And I also picked up some soap for the house. This is the lavender and rosemary hand wash from Dalesford. That's also some of the things that they do. And the other thing is, obviously, I'm a bit of a candle lover, so if you want to, you can add some candles. Um, they've got a huge, huge selection of candles on there from m and own brand to um, Yankee Candle to obviously Dalesford as well. And I got the vine tomato one, so yes. That is pretty much the majority of what I picked up. Oh, the final piece was these. You'll know I'm obsessed with doji balls, but I have never had the birthday cake doji ball. Couldn't not add this. Like, imagine just all of the herby goodness of um, Provence and just adding it to maybe some meats or some pasta or whatever. What a lovely way to start the day. I just love it. I don't know how I can take so much joy in this and it's just a little moment of joy that I've really kind of honed in on basically, but I just can't get over my hair. I'm so sorry. I've just slept on it like this and it's not looking a vibe. <laughs> it is one of those mornings. Oh. And have just taken delivery of quite possibly the most beautiful delivery ever no not this bag we've seen this bag before this skirt and genuinely i thought this was a scam like i there was one point where i was like lydia what have you done you are one of those people that has fallen for like those internet scams where people are like send money and we'll send you this no it's not a scam it is not a scam i've never ever ordered anything in this way before so let me tell you this is the skirt of dreams and i stumbled across this skirt in fact i'm going to pop it down lower so you can see the full drama but so i stumbled across this skirt on instagram and <laughs> without thinking i've gone onto the page and i'm thinking i can just like order it and what have you because i just you know i love a little sort of pinstripe skirt or anything this is what i've been looking for okay so when i saw this i literally lost my mind and i went onto the instagram page and the only way to order was to email and i don't know i don't know if i should put this in my video and say who it was because i don't know if it's just someone making these like themselves at home and i worry that they would be like hugely overwhelmed i don't know basically i was told that i needed to pick my fabric so I picked three fabrics. They basically sent over a swatch card and I picked three fabrics. This one was the one that I saw initially. So I thought I'm absolutely gonna order this. They do it, I think they do it in a green stripe as well. So I might um, order the green stripe as well. I'll show you the other ones. And I had to send my height and my waist measurements. And also like, I think it ended up being like 500 pounds. I had to just like pay it. Um, really strange really strange situation <laughs> but and then also the thing that the only thing that like annoyed me a little bit was that they said it would be with me in 10 days and it's been it's been about three weeks so i'm guessing that obviously because i've sent my uh, measurements etc etc they're all handmade to order and um to your like specification now you're gonna see that even though i've sent over my measurements there are differences in the the sizes so i've got a beautiful green toit de jouy, which is shorter. And I don't know whether I want it to be longer. You'll have to let me know what you think because this is supposed to be made to my height, um, but it is sort of pulling on the floor a little bit. Maybe I'm not wearing it high enough. I'm not sure. Maybe if I've got a shoe on, but it is, it is kind of pulling on the floor just a little bit. So it's made to order. Just that's one thing to, to clarify that, um, it's going to be the same, but this was the um, striped blue one. The fullness of it is stunning, and the fabric is beautiful as well. 
like I can't even lie. And the fit around my waist is, it is the dream. Um, but I'll put all the other ones with you. But this is, I've styled it up with like my Ralph Lauren shirt because I thought that that was like quite a cool, I don't know, I just love the way this looks. It makes me feel so, so lovely. And um, obviously you can wear this with like a crop top or body or a bodysuit. Um, I don't know whether to like not the, the, the shirt. I think that could look also really nice. But um, I feel very, very like this is like American style right now. But um, obviously I'll show you the other ones. But yeah, so it's just a bit of a weird one. I've never shopped like this before. And it was a bit unnerving, but now obviously I know, but I, I am gonna email um, the brand and just be like, just to let you know that there are like differences in the length. And obviously I said over my height, so they should be the same, I think, because they're just the same skirt. There are also other things that you could order, but I just, I loved the skirt personally, it was very like my style, so yeah. I'll show you the others. Okay, so I've knotted this one at the front. This is the, um, Toile de Jouy one. It's a really thick fabric, so it's almost like it's made out of like cushion fabric um, or even like curtain fabric, but it looks so beautiful, like the fullness in it. I'm not sure on the um, like knotting of the shirt, maybe it would look better like tucked in, but I popped it with my green caramel and shirt because I thought the greens looked really nice together. But yeah, so this one's shorter and actually now that I've got it on again, I actually do think that this is the right length and the others are a bit too long because obviously I've got the gingham one as well, which is green. But even just with like a bodysuit or something like that, this could look really lovely and just minimalist, minimalist, maximalist on the bottom, minimalist on the top. So it's not so like, um, but it just, I, I feel really elegant in it, but it's just bizarre that I sent my measurements over and they're sort of different. Um, but I love them. I've, I filmed a TikTok with them as well because I genuinely, I thought this was, I thought I'd been scammed. <laughs> when they were like, when it, it had been 10 days, I was like, okay, where, where are these skirts that I've ordered and what have you done, Lydia? <laughs> but anyway, they have a beautiful like side zip and obviously this gorgeous waistband at the top and then it's a little bit elasticated at the back so you've got room to like breathe and eat gluten but yeah let's try on the gingham one i haven't tried that one on yet <laughs> so i'm pretty sure that this one is even longer than the striped one very very strange but this is the green gingham one and i've popped it on with a little amazon square neck uh bodysuit because I think it would make a nice change, but this one would actually, this would go with the, the Toile de Jouy one as well, if I wanted to wear that as like a um, outfit. But yeah, so this one's longer and it's also bigger on the waist. So I could have this one potentially taken in a little bit more. I know that it looks nice here, but yes, very strange on the fact that I obviously just sent my um, measurements and they're all kind of different, but it's beautiful and I guess you can kind of because it's handmade you can kind of expect a little bit of discrepancy but I think the length is um particularly noticeable but this would be such a cute look for like a wedding or something like that like obviously no white this is actually like a taupey um off-white kind of color really and then lots of green so I think that you'd be able to get away with this for like a wedding look love it but yeah just a just expect some discrepancies, I would say. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna wear the uh, Toile de Jouy one now, although I want to get my TikTok up, so yeah, I have to think about getting that done. Well, I've just filmed about 50 million TikToks, <laughs> and we've also had a bit of a zhuzh of the house today because we've had someone come and clean the glass in my greenhouse, so I need to go and inspect that later. And we've also had someone to come and clean the carpets, just to give them a bit of a refresh because obviously we have puppy dogs and we have um, a cat and so it's just nice to have your carpets refreshed and we've just got such a lovely guy that comes and, and does it so it's smelling lovely and fresh in there but I haven't had a chance to go out to my greenhouse yet but I'm about to have some very very late lunch and I'm going to give myself um, the organic roast tomato soup with mascarpone and I'm going to cut myself some of the sourdough as well so that I can have a very lovely, wholesome and hearty lunch. It might be summertime, but there is nothing quite like a good bowl of soup. So I'm going to enjoy my sourdough. I'm going to do some editing. I've got lots of editing to do today, so let's crack on. Mm. 
Mm. Right, I am just getting some boxes undone. It is the evening because I have a late work evening today. I've got a seamstress coming to the house um, because it is my Karen Millen shoot for my autumn collection, which I think, I think out of all of the collections so far, always my autumn collections are my favorite. I always feel like the locations that we use are very in synergy with um, me and they tend to be often like the biggest in terms of, I think, yeah, yeah, the biggest in terms of like response from you guys. So I get very, very excited about autumn collections and this one is no different, but I have a seamstress coming because um, obviously we do our best to try, well, Karen Millen do their best to try and get samples in my size but unfortunately it's not always possible. So sometimes I have to have a size 10 tailored to, uh, for me to be able to wear it on shoot so that we're not clipping it, so that it looks right. But it's, it's one of those things that we just have to sort of like make do with. It's because I am the size I am and usually they would use models and um, yeah, it's just one of those things that you kind of have to learn. Oh, I'm giving you a very big sneak peek there of my um, <laughs> favorite dress. <laughs> Um, but she's, I'm just getting everything hung up now so that we're able to tailor everything and um, get everything ready for next week. So that's what I'm going to crack on with doing at the moment. And um, Porty has been lying on his back. It's just some paw butter. And his little paw pads are a little bit dry. So I thought maybe I could give you a manicure and a pedicure. You fancy it? Hmm? You fancy it? Yes? Mummy, give you a little bit of a massage, yes? Smells nice, doesn't it? Now don't lick it. <laughs> Not everything is a treat. This is for your little paw paws. Like this. Give you a nice little bit of moisture on there. It's like, mummy, what are you doing? One of the things that I often um, get people comment on is Porter's nails, because Porter's nails are a lot longer than Barclay's nails, but they grow very differently. And so we have every time we take Porter to the vets, we do have his paw his uh, nails checked, and um, every time they say that his nails are absolutely fine and they don't need to be uh, trimmed. Porter walks on a road for the last part of his uh, walks, and that is enough to wear his his nails down. They just grow straighter than Barclays so they go straight out so when he wears them down don't lick it don't lick it why are you wearing your paws um so they're no problem they're only an issue if they are curling back on their paws generally you enjoying your massage my my liege enjoying your massage do you know what this smells like it smells like pumpkin candles doesn't it Smells like autumn. My smallie. Mmm. Sausage breath. My favourite. Mmm. Mmm. Do your back paws. Little pedicure. Don't lick them, my love. Don't lick them. Just lie there. Mummy will give you a little massage of your little pads. <laughs> Is that nice? Do you like a scalp massage or a schnitt massage? Get a little bit of it on your, because this is a, a nose balm as well. We used to put this on Bolly's nose because he had a little, a little dry nose, didn't he? But now we're putting it on little Bolly's paws. Hmm? 
and the final paw. And then Mummy is going to go to sleep. Yes? Yes. Little licky chops. A little bit more. Oh, they feel much more soft and supple. Don't they? Mummy have to give you manicures more often. So where were you? <laughs> so where were you? Good boy. Good boy. So this is the I Love Pet Head Oatmeal Paw Butter that soothes and relieves dry, cracked sausage paws. Doesn't it? Hmm? That's funny. Because I kissed your nose about five minutes ago and it was dry and now it's wet. Oh, I love you so much, Porty. I still can't believe that I have you. You are a dream come true. Hello Barkley Boo. Hello. Hello Porty Boo. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. Yes, very exciting, very exciting. I don't know if you're propped up high enough. I'm quite near the top, aren't I? Um, I don't have much energy to find anything else for you, so... Um, <clears throat> Let's try if this makes much difference. How is that for you? A little bit better, potentially. Hello. <laughs> first things first, elephant in the room. If I am as pale as they come, it is because I am so poorly right now. And this is the first time that I have been ill like this in about three years. Who remembers the time when I was like ill every month? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it has taken it out of me so so much I was oh where do I begin anyway this weekend has been the most bizarre weekend of my life I think so um we were supposed to be going to a wedding and at like the 11th hour our um dog sitter let us down and because of how far away the wedding was it would have been too long for us to leave the dogs for any, like we would have got there and had half an hour and probably had to come back. However, at about five o'clock, I was in the house and I could smell like burnt toast. And I was like, oh gosh, is that coming from next door? So I was just about to go upstairs and I looked outside and I thought, gosh, the sky looks such a funny color. Anyway, went, went to start walking upstairs and um, just as I was doing that, Ali walked through the front door and he was like, there's a fire. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, where? Where is there a fire? He's like, all on the fields. So the fields that we walk, that I always show you with the puppy dogs, with all of the, the barley either side of us, um, that we walk every morning with the dogs, that was on fire. And... Obviously all of our neighbours were out. Honestly, we have the best neighbours ever. Like I feel so lucky for where we live and how lovely everyone is because we're just like, it's such a lovely community. Obviously there's Ali getting right in, in there, helping all of the firemen. There was like five fire engines um, and, and the issues that they were having was that they were like ploughing around the fire so that it, there was a gap and it wasn't able to take hold on the crops that hadn't already been ploughed and it was like jumping, like the, fl the fire was actually jumping. And um, <coughs> and um, we were really concerned because there was only a small amount of space between, between the fire coming over the road to where the houses are and also there's one house that's like slightly separate from the, um, from the hamlet where we live and it was up 
against their fence. It was really, really frightening, horrible. Like everyone was amazing. Like so many of like the dads and husbands where we lived, like they were all helping out the firemen and it was just incredibly frightening and nuts because I was really worried that it was someone had like started the fire. But they actually think that, that because the, the farmer was um, plowing the fields, they actually think that the combine harvester must have chipped like a bit of flint or something and it sparked because the fire was just behind him on his combine harvester. But it's, it's amazing how they, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me. <laughs> bless me, nobody needs to see that. They then used the combine harvesters to put the fire out as well, which did actually work, but then one of the combine harvesters, they were worried that that had caught fire. It was incredibly dramatic. And, um, but the, the most amazing thing was, was the firemen were phenomenal. Like they're just incredible, such incredible people. I'm, I said to um, one of my neighbors, I was like, they must feel like real life, like superheroes when they rock up and they're, they're like saving people and homes and lives and whatever. It just must be an incredibly fulfilling job. Um, but anyway, that happened. And then obviously that we were covered in smoke and soot and, and all of that kind of stuff and ash and what have you. And so we thought, oh, we'll just kind of stay at home and do what we can here. And then as the evening has gone on, I've just got more and more poorly, like to the point where I was like, Ali, I do not feel good. Um, and then I've had the most bizarre night's sleep and then I've, I've literally been in bed until two o'clock today and my whole body was hurting. But now it seems to have subsided so I'm feeling a bit better so I've got up. I've not put proper makeup on my face but um, I just wanted to look a little bit more um, presentable but also wanted to offer you an explanation as to, you know, what happened and where I've been and what have you and it's just yeah it's been a very strange one look at this boy look at him he said like, yes you can hold my head you may hold the royal schnoot so anyway I'm probably not going to do much vlogging because I do think I'm going to go back to bed in a bit just because I think the sleep is really helping me um, I'm having lots of fluids and taking lots of care of myself but um, my head is whew. so I'm probably not going to do much but I do have some things that I was like really really looking forward to unboxing with you and um, this is something that I've ordered and I've been waiting for such a long time for this box to arrive because it's something that obviously it's it's art and I wanted to unbox it with you so I thought I would get into those things and not obviously feel sorry for myself because I feel poorly and just kind of get up and try my best to, to feel as normal as possible and then go back and have a nap probably probably nap with these boys. These are your boys. These are your boys. Hmm? 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 Want another pedicure, do you? Your paws feel, his, by the way, his paws feel so lovely since his pedicure. But I will give you another one. Barclays aren't so bad, but you need a little pedicure, don't you? Little pedicure. Okay, so, as you can see, it says, please handle with care. And the artist is called Lena Gordevsky? 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 Gordevsky. I think it's Gordevsky. I found her on Instagram, and one of my favourite things at the moment is finding artists on Instagram because I think, and this is something that you've probably seen me go on a bit of a journey with, but art as a whole is quite a, it's kind of like the wine industry in that you feel a bit silly when you get started and people have a very, um, they're very quick to like shut you down and or, like make fun of the way that you like source your art or what art means to you. And it's a really interesting topic. Um, and I've sort of been on a journey with art in that like a lot of the time there are obviously the people that um, buy art for like investment or whatever but I think art in a home is something very very different unless you have like a home where you put all of your collection of expensive art on display but 
art in a home for me is something very different. First of all, I want to look at things and I want to have like a sense of calm or whatever when I see them. Um, I, especially where we live, capturing the nature, the outdoors and bringing it indoors is really important to us. But um, also just finding lovely bits of art that also work in our home. It's, it's, it's such an interesting thing. And I have definitely found that finding artists on Instagram means you discover, you discover so many undiscovered talent that are doing incredible, incredible things and, make, and, and, and just producing the most incredible art. And you're able to get their originals or you can buy prints. There's an artist that I love called Brian Hanlon. I haven't purchased one of his originals, I only have his prints. But with Lena, I wanted, I really, really wanted an original. And the thing that I love about what Lena does is she uses vintage frames and frames her work with the most beautiful linen and um, captures the scenes of like the countryside in a way that I think speaks to so many people because it's just, it, it could be anywhere, but it feels nostalgic no matter who you are or where, where you are. And so, um, yes, I've, I've shared her work a lot on Instagram, but this is the first piece that I have from hers and I am so excited. Do you know what, I'm just gonna get into the box now because I appreciate it. I've just been babbling on, but art is whatever you want it to be. You can go for the multi-million pound pieces of art or you can go for the art that is spectacular and you just fall in love with the artists and the pictures and the paintings and whatever and support them. I really, really value supporting new and upcoming artists. That's something that I love, but obviously their artwork has to be in synergy with my style, etc., etc. And Lena is that. She is phenomenal. So, opening it up, we have a little card from Lena Fine Art. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. And the other thing that I feel like I have um, tackled the issue with my dressing room is when I went shopping the other day to Station Mill, they had a lot of artwork displayed on tabletop easels. That's what I'm gonna do in my dressing room. I've ordered some easels, some little tabletop ones. So potentially these could go in there or um, I could pop some other artwork in there. But either way, all of the sort of like eaves and nooks and crannies of this house, I have, I have, basically um, solved my problem. Like if you can't put it on the wall, an easel looks really, really lovely. So that is my plan of action. Oh my goodness, I am so, oh wow, that looks so chunky. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just every little touch to, to her work is so rustic and elegant. August 2022, Lydia, thank you for all of the support. I hope this package has made a safe voyage to the UK and that you love it even more in person. Oh my gosh. This is brightening my very snotty day, that's for sure. So this was the first piece that I ordered. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to show you this up close. So this particular piece is called Valley Mist and this was done in soft pastel in 2000 and in 2022. Uh, pastel artwork handling, pastel is one of the most permanent art mediums. The archival pigment used in these pastels is the same as used in fine oil paintings. If properly cared for, your painting will last many generations. Soft pastels are a dry medium and susceptible to smear if when touched. Oh, and I love that the frame has all of these little dinks in it. I'm gonna show you it up close, first and foremost. Um, but I'm gonna pop this to one side and I think this is gonna look lovely, like everywhere in our home. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then this was another one that I absolutely love. So this is Summer Stream number two. And this, basically, I fell in love with this particular piece because this reminds me of the little creek that we have that we walk over when we're walking the dogs. And again, this is what I mean when I say that they're sort of like, they can speak to anyone no matter where you are, but you almost feel like you've been to the place 
that she's painted before because everything is so sort of nostalgic like I think that you always think that you've seen it before so when you see her pieces you it, it could be somewhere that you've been it could be somewhere that you visited a holiday or whatever and um, it captures that memory basically so this one is summer stream and honestly I don't know oh it's just everything about her work just <laughs> I think somebody wants some love so I'm going to show you these up close I love you too my boy I love you too. I missed you this morning when I was in bed. I missed you. But Lumi kept me company instead. So this one was probably one of my favorite pieces that I'd seen Lena do because again, this just looks like the fields around where we live and it's just so calming. And then if you if you see really really close the texture that she's used for the framing, um, for the inlay and the mount is a beautiful, beautiful raw, raw linen. That to me just, again, just adds a tiny, tiny touch of texture, but softness as well. And this is the thing for me, it's, it's not just about finding a picture that goes in your home. It's about the whole experience of taking every element of the piece in from the frame to the mount to the actual picture itself is why I actually I actually end up buying framed artwork so much more than unframed because I think that, that that finishes off and sets the tone of the piece perfectly and then this is the other one so just the most beautiful beautiful and the frame itself has a lovely touch of green to it with gold edging and I just love the frames that she used and then again you can see the beautiful textured linen oh I'll link all of Lena's work in the description box down below but as you know I love finding artists and she is my new favorite a little bit of a garden haul I've just gone and well I went and pulled some carrots for me to have I'm trying I don't have any appetite at the moment um, but I'm gonna try and get some goodness into me, but this guy was hiding. I did not even realize how big this was, but yeah, it was hiding, so I shouldn't have let it get that big, but it will be good for chutney, so that's fine. And then um, one of my golden uh, courgettes, which I might try and make something with later on, but for the moment, I'm just gonna have some carrots to try and ease myself back into eating.